there's something very mysterious about light that more people should be talking about. All right, so what I have here, it's a box, two slits in it. Got a body of water because light acts as a wave, just like water. All right, so notice these solid circles of light moving out from a central point in all directions. Now, when you've got two slits and you make some ripples behind it, what happens is those circles are no longer whole. They go through the slits and they become two different waves. This is called an interference pattern. See a wave go that way, wave go that way. Bravo, Mr. Science Man. You did it. Uh, other people have done it much better, but you get the idea. So yeah, scientists have studied the peculiar nature of light for hundreds of years. What we found out is that Light behaves as a wave, but it's also made up of particles. Individual photons work together to create the wave. So yeah, light behaves just like ripples of water. And to test this, there's the double slit experiment. Basically what we've done is we put two slits into a piece of material, and we sent light through it. Now, what happens when you do this is you get an interference pattern. Ripples that interfere with each other to create this image on the wall behind the two slits. But then someone got the bright idea, hey, I'm going to fire a single photon of light through these double slits and see what happens. Well, so we did that, and what we're expecting from sending a single photon through the slits is a single piece of light hitting the back wall over and over and over again until you see the image of the two slits lit up in a defined two-slit pattern on the wall. Because, after all, there should be no interference pattern. Interference pattern requires more than one thing bumping into each other to create the wave pattern, right? So, this is what we were expecting to see. Well, what actually happened changed the world of science and the nature of reality as we understand it forever. Instead of getting the double slit pattern on the wall, eventually every single photon hit in a wave pattern. Now, this defies all logic and reason. It's almost as if every single photon had some sort of communication beyond the laws of time and space with the other photons before they even hit so that they knew where to land to still create the wave pattern that we're used to seeing from light. How is that even possible? Well, there's a lot of weird theories out there from really smart people. Scientifically, they're considered plausible. They involve alternate dimensions, hundreds of thousands of alternate dimensions that all somehow overlap and can uh, communicate with each other to allow the photon to know where to hit to create the wave pattern. Yeah, it's, it's, it's out there. But it gets even weirder. Scientists then decided what they would do is they would try to measure which slit 
the photons, the single photons, were traveling through. So what they did is they put a screen behind the double slits on one behind one slit or the other and as the photon passed through it would pass through the second screen right and they'd be able to measure which slit the photon traveled through well the act of doing this actually destroyed the wave pattern on the wall and instead what we ended up getting is what we initially expected to find from this experiment two solid lines mirroring the shape of the double slits the act of trying to measure and find out which slit the photons were traveling through changed the behavior of light now this is just another layer of holy crap WTF what is going on here uh, <laughs> and uh, scientists still don't know this is just one of many weird instances in the quantum realm where things just don't make any sense and they baffle scientists to no end we've been able to use these weird oddities on the quantum level to create some really marvelous technology but that doesn't mean we understand it that just means that we've learned how to work with it and manipulate it to some extent and so that's why I kind of wanted to make this video because the implications are well they're pretty massive one of the big deficiencies that I feel exists in modern science is unless we can measure it, produce repeatable data, and I don't know, work it out on a chalkboard with equations, scientists are sort of afraid to really try and figure out the why answer. While I'm definitely not against technology, and I'm very excited about all the technological breakthroughs that we've had over the years as a species, I just wonder if maybe the human race should maybe take pause at some of these very strange aspects of our reality. After all, the photon, when trying to be measured, changed its behavior. It's almost as if light was saying, nah, uh you're not gonna figure me out that easy. No one ever stops to figure out why these things are happening. I feel like science has pinned itself into a box. It, it's afraid to use language that might draw some kind of a conclusion outside the realm of the physical world. For example, when I see light behave in this way, what comes to my mind immediately is that there is some undetectable intelligence at work here. Now, I'm not turning this into like a, a god video. I, I don't believe in necessarily a deity type god behind the scenes that created everything and is sitting on a cloud, you know, just sort of judging everyone. Eh, I'm not going there with this video. But I do think that scientists could maybe be a little bit more honest with themselves when they see this almost miraculous side of nature and reality I think what I'm trying to say is that if we don't start applying a little bit of reverence and awe to these things to the appropriate level of admitting to ourselves that we don't understand it and likely we're never going to until we can actually be honest with ourselves as a species on that level, I feel like we're going to be making a lot of big mistakes in the near future. One example is, well, all the technological breakthroughs that we're making in economics. Pretty soon, there won't be any jobs for most people in the world because our technology is just going to make manual labor and other sort of jobs obsolete. You know, Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park said it best. <laughs> Gee, the lack of humility before nature.
that's being displayed here um, staggers me. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. All right, so yeah, a lot of other people have explained the double slit experiment and the part of light wave particle duality much better than I, than I can. I got some links in the description for you to check out in more depth this, uh, this very complicated issue. But I really thought that it was important that as many people as possible were aware of this and we started talking about it. Got many more subjects like this one coming up in the future that I want to discuss. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, Fateful Slave. I'm out.